Hey, my name is Rich Buley with Proforma. Today, I want to talk about some ways you can get traffic data on your existing e-commerce site and how that data will inform you in how to determine your potential. So let me give you some backstory on this. We've got company stores today that customers are using for various reasons to reward and recognize customers, to reward and recognize distributors or resellers or agencies or brokers. And they wanna have a store that can arm their brokers or distributors with all the tools they need to sell, as well as products, recognition, uh, sales items, items like that that can help that customer resell their product. And then we also have customer loyalty programs and we have employee recognition programs and we have marketing programs and then employee programs built for internal employees to purchase swag. All of those stores and so many others, at the end of the day, customers are looking for what items are trending, what items are being purchased the most, what can we learn from what's happening on the site today so that we could determine what other products to make available to our customers, our employees, the whole nine yards, so that ultimately the store proves to be more and more and more useful to the person that you built it for. And ultimately you get the most traction from the store. More of your products with your brand are going into employees or customers' hands that's being used to drive your brand in the marketplace, helping you to uh, support the sales process or helping drive loyalty within customers and employees and keeping that brand stability, loyalty, visibility strong. And so wanting to generate those results in a store, it's critical to know a few data points that I'm finding customers don't have access to. So the first is, how many visits do you have to your store on a monthly basis? Not only how many visits, but what are you tracking? What number of visitors can you anticipate per month? Now of those visits, what products are the most viewed? What decoration methods or decoration brands, what brands, logos, artwork within your store are people gravitating to? So if you have a program that's used to support customers in the reselling process, what categories are they looking at? Is it sales materials? Is it recognition materials? Is it customer gifts? You wanna know what category is driving the most visibility and what ranks of categories there are so you know how to focus your creative efforts and calories into the categories that matter most. Or if it's employees, it's what brands or what decorations or what departments are looking at our products the most so we can constantly refresh selection so that our employees have the best brands and the best, best options and the highest uh, packaging or uh, purchasing, right? So today I'm gonna show you real quickly in that situation, how to get external data if you don't have access, if you don't know how many people are look, accessing your set website per day, if you don't know how many people are looking at what products, what pages, I'm gonna show you how to do that with some free tools so you can ultimately determine what products are being looked at. And then the second thing I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you a website that's going to inform you with what types of conversions you should have on your store. If you sell apparel to employees, it should be a 12% conversion. If you sell coffee, it should be 10% or food, it should be 10% and so forth. So you have a general idea of if I've got a thousand people visiting a specific category, am I getting a hundred new orders a month? And if I'm not, that means I'm failing to resonate with my employees. I'm failing to resonate with my customers or whoever my audience is. So I'm going to switch screens and then we'll get to uh, looking at some of this. So one of the programs, one of the softwares I use is called SpyFu. If you just go to spyfu.com and then enter in the URL at the top, you will see a report generated similar to this. And what you want to look for, you put your company URL there. When you put your company URL, you will see estimated monthly SEO clicks. So you can see how many people are accessing your your company store at that time. Here's a trend to see what what is my trend on visitors? Is it growing? If you've had it for a few years, is are there specific months where I have higher traffic, where I want to consider promotions, or if I want to tell a different story or use my store to explain to employees new benefits coming, or if it's uh, customers, a new product launch or a new reward for pushing a specific product. Knowing this data shows you how many people are coming at what specific time and how to resonate. 
So then another program I use is called SEM Rush. So Google SEM Rush, also put in your keyword, your URL, and you can see a two year trend. So this is a two year trend on how many visits to your company store. So right now it's looking at roughly in between 750, right in the beginning, and then over time it grows. In this case, in this sampling, you're not seeing growth, you're seeing the opposite. But at the beginning, it was at, at the total amount of time between now and two years, it's 2.1 thousand in traffic trends. Here's your five-year traffic trend. So you can see at the very beginning in, in 15, here's where they started. And now here's where they're at now as of today and what that seasonality looks like. In this case, you wouldn't think that you have any seasonality. It's more about what has happened in January or December of 2016, what happened again in December of 2018, and what happened again in December of 2019. What are we doing to get such huge spikes, right? And it has something to do with, in here it's August where it started. So what happened that generated higher visibility to your company store? You wanna think about that and then see if you can sustain that growth. Because as you can see in this example, they were doing great and then they dropped immensely. So here's the next piece of data that you can get. Uh, this is also on SEM Rush. So here's here's a homepage, right? And this is blurred out, so you can't see the actual customer. But if you look right here, the homepage is getting 1.7 thousand clicks per month, and the traffic is 83%, right? Then you have the next product at 95 visits, and they're 4.6. The next is another product at 2.71% traffic. The next most common web page is another product. And here's what that looks like. In this case, it's an account tab, trying to learn about your profile and account. And then the last one's another product at 1.55%. So as a company store administrator, the question we wanna answer is why is 83% going to the homepage and then never taking action? That is a huge opportunity to better fit the homepage to make it more relevant to your user demographics. And then lastly, here's your opportunity formula. So what we do, we look at average number of visitors, and then here's a link, it's in, it's invespcro.com, right? And you can see it here on this website. I'll also include it underneath this video so you can click it. But this shows you all of the retail entities that you're seeing here, all of the different online e-commerce stores, and what their conversion rates are. So for apparel, you look at it here and it's roughly 12%. So if apparel conversion happens at 12%, if there's 1200 visitors visiting apparel, they should have 144 monthly orders. If they're not seeing that, they're failing to resonate with their customers, their employees, their resellers, whatever. And the same here, average conversion by food. So in this case, food is right here and it's right at 10%. So if the food category was hit 1,200 times, visited 1,200 times, they should get 120 monthly coffee orders. So again, this information is designed to help you look at your store. If you don't have this data, that's a problem. You want to get the data immediately. And if you're not getting these reports that are showing you how you're resonating with your employees and your customers and your resellers and your audience, then how do you make changes to your program to support a greater experience? How are you arming your employees and incentivizing your employees and customers? How are you giving them what they want so that they can take your brand and enter into the marketplace and community, right? If you are not seeing reports that help you identify that that's your first problem, that your e-commerce store, your company store is probably not uh, operating as efficiently as you want it to be. Step one. Step two, if you don't have that data, visit the sites that I showed you and I'll include below in the notes so that you can take a look at your program and see at least benchmark data how you're doing. Number three, if you don't have all these logins and passwords and access to these dashboards, but you want quick information and a couple quick tips on how can you take your store to the next level, throw me your URL, send me in an email, your URL, and I will show you the analysis that I did for this customer so you can identify where are your opportunities. And if you like what you see and you want to explore ways where we can help you get more out of your e-commerce store, help you with product selection, help you with decoration, let us know. We'd love to have a conversation with you. And if it makes sense for us to partner together, we'd love to take over your store at some point. Can't wait to talk with you. If there's anything else you need, please don't hesitate to let me know. Thanks.